it's gonna fuck you up what I'm finna tell you. Go ahead. And I'm gonna get off the and I'm gonna get off the phone. Go on, fuck me up. When I was when I was 16 years old, I killed my daddy. Oh shit! What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That Another fucked one. everybody yeah. up. Wait. Oh what? shit! Let, whoa. Yeah, let that marinate. Oh for my me. god! Wait, no wait a minute. Marinate. Hold on now. Wait a minute. God damn, boy. Wait, what, what happened? The reason why it happened was I grew up in a violent family. When I was six months old, and you know I'm six months, I'm a baby. I don't know what's going on. My brother stabbed him. Your brother stabbed and you? My daddy. Oh. My my dad. Okay. He stabbed my dad. Okay. It wasn't their he he wasn't their dad. He was just my dad. I was his only child. Okay, how old was your brother? But um I got a killer on the line. At that Go ahead. time they at that time they was like 18, 19, 20 years old. Uh huh. Damn. And I was six months. Okay. So fast forward the story is that I grew up in a violent home. My dad used to beat up on my mama. Oh. Okay, okay. I used to go to work with two black guys, you know, um, and that's what I was saying about people making excuses for their family members, you know, even though you love them and everything. And I understand I love my daddy, too. And um, I'm not saying that it's right, but I understand that and I'm a grown woman at 50 years old. <laughs> I understand why he did it because... There's a lot of women out there that would nag and entice a man and, and, and don't know when to shut the fuck up until he put his hands on her. And that's not right. You know, sometimes you need to know how to step away from an argument and choose your battle. So uh -uh. that little boy who did that to his family members and stuff like that, people knew what he was about. They just made excuses for him. Right. Hold on. So, so, how, how, how you kill him? I stabbed him. And he would have lived had they had my uh, he not pulled the knife out of his chest. When he pulled it out, he cut a main artery. If he would have uh, stayed in, it would have um, he would have lived. But yeah, that's what happened. And I thought at that that night that that happened, they was fighting and, and all that good stuff that they always did. You know, had got used to it by that time, which is crazy. And um, he knocked her out. So when he knocked her out, she was like shaking on the ground and it freaked me out and then he came towards me like he was sitting to choke me so that's the reason why i did it you should have killed his ass uh -uh, big man man that's gotta be so, tough yeah, man to stab your daddy man good lord it is and now that i'm older and i see how life works and i see how people are i wish i wouldn't have done it because that's grown-up stuff but i don't know he probably would have killed her that's i was gonna say you at. probably saved your mama life honestly that's what everybody tell me, but you know, you never know. You never know. Good Lord. Well, he had been doing it know, for a long always, time, though. He's, he's always put hands on her, right, you know, and she's always, she's always put up she with it. Eight, when I was 13, I told her she needed to leave him. So if she chose to be with him, you know, evidently that's what she was into. What's, what's your emotions towards your father? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, no, I miss him. <laughs> Oh, the most wow. beautiful thing about it is that his tombstone has his picture on it, you know, his side. And my mother already has her name and her uh, picture that she chose to put on there. She just waiting for her end date. And that showed me just how much of uh, unconditional love that she had for him, even though he was abusing her. Wow. That's one hard. night I tried to break him up from fighting, you know, because she was fitting to stab him one night. And I got in between them, and my hand stopped it. Well, you know, it didn't stop it, but when she stabbed at him, I put my hand up, and it ended up, she stabbed me through my hand, and it was stuck in the door. Oh, damn. So I've, I've saved both of them on both occasions. Hey, so how's hey, your brothers doing? Wanted. Then when my they... brother passed. My brother passed away when I was two years old. He got killed over a female. Oh wow! What shit? Uh, I, I used to watch my dad fuck my mom up too. I seen him break her arm. I seen him do a whole lot of bullshit to her. And uh, earlier when I was, I was saying I bucked up at him and, and he caved my little chest in. I was stopping him from putting his hands on my mama. So I, I definitely know where, where you're coming from and what you went through. Uh, when I when I got about. I think I was like 12. I told my mom if she ain't leave him and stop fucking with him, I was going to stop fucking with her. And I told her she was going to have to choose him or me. 
and that's when she got the divorce. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I definitely know what you, what you, what you're going through, or Dang. what you went through. If somebody asked a legit question. They asked, "Did your mama forgive you?" Oh yeah, she. <laughs> to be honest with you, she hate that it happened. You know, she blamed me for a long time. Yeah, she loved that man. Damn. She blamed me for a short amount of time. All her friends did. Um, of course, his side. Of, his side. All of her his, friends his did. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh and, my God. And his side of the family did because his family his family lives in California. Most of them is in Oakland. They not they not living no more now because they you know, they older and passed away. But at that time they in Oakland, California, so they wasn't around. So they assumed that they told they thought that my mama told me to do it so she can get insurance money. Oh my God. Hmm. What? And it was nothing like they, that again. They knew he was beating on her though, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Everybody knew it. Oh, my goodness. Because she was going to work with two black eyes. Put some softening in my mind.